Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here and on today's update that I do something different and show you guys what my digital library looks like on Voodoo. Currently have about 339 titles going and of course one of the great benefits of having a uh, digital library is when you're traveling you can take your iPad with you and you have something to watch on there or on your cell phone. But then again I rarely watch stuff on my cell phone because the screen is too small. Or if you're on a date and she invites you over to her place and she doesn't have Netflix or cable but somehow manages to have a uh, Wi-Fi account and if she has a Blu-ray player, you can always log into your Voodoo account and have something to watch. But I highly recommend you to have some romantic comedies. Especially good to have some scary movies in case you get scared, you know, and she jumps out of her seat. You're, you can hold her hand or comfort her. And I'm not talking about comforting her in a Harvey Weinstein sort of way. Just be a gentleman about it. But anyway, let's get started. So I got two of the uh, Laura Croft movies from uh, Angelina Jolie, The Sandlot, one of my favorite baseball films of all time, which unfortunately still isn't remastered on uh, Blu-ray. And uh, yeah, I just don't understand what the holdup is because that film is basically loved by everybody. Who knows, maybe at some point, uh, you know, 20th Century Fox will get on the bandwagon and finally get that going. So I got Jigsaw, which was actually pretty decent for a Saw film for the 8th chapter. Blue Jasmine. And by the way, I highly recommend you to guys not to give out your passwords, you know, to your digital library, to any of your girlfriends. You know, especially if they nag and say... You know, but when you're awake, you know, can I have the password so I have something to watch? Just, you know, kindly say, mm, no, and just change the subject. Because I actually learned the hard way, man. What happened was, I actually gave a password to a girlfriend, which she ended up being my ex-girlfriend. And I actually forgot that I gave her my Wii account. And she was still logging into my stuff, man, watching my movies. And I also gave it to uh, another girlfriend. And uh, what happened was, she logged in and she's like, were you watching Mary Poppins? I'm like, no. He's like, well, how come the last movie shows Mary Poppins? I'm like, oh, shoot, you know, because I forgot that I gave it to my ex-girlfriend. It was my ex-girlfriend who watched Mary Poppins. So it was pretty embarrassing, man, you know, because the last thing you want is your girlfriend to know you were singing, you know, Spoonful of Sugar, man. It's quite embarrassing. But anyway, don't let that ever happen to you guys. All right, so let's move on. Got American Made. Heat, the remastered edition, as good as it gets. One of my favorite films from uh, Jack Nicholson. Jumanji from the late great Robin Williams. The Transformers movies. Something's Gotta Give, that is a definite uh, chick flick. All the women love that one. Jingle All the Way, one of my favorites from Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Phil Hartman, who steals the show. The late great film, Phil Hartman and Sinbad. Don't Be a Menace. Really hysterical, man. Sean and Marlon Wayans. The Harry Potter movies. So I'm not going to name all the movies. Obviously, you can you know see them for yourself. But I'm just going to continue to chime in on some of them. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Great film. The Untouchables. Really a wonderful French film. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. And one of my favorite slapstick comedy films of all time. Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. Which unfortunately still isn't on Blu-ray. And uh, The Lion King, of course, you got to have The Lion King and Snatched, which I'm actually embarrassed I even have Snatched in my library. Actually, I think what happened was I added it before I even saw the film, which I should have known better. So pretty embarrassed about it. How to Be a Latin Lover, which is another slapstick comedy in the same style of uh, Deuce Bigelow. This one stars El Henio Del Bez, Alien Covenant, The Promise, Ghost in the Shell. Fast and Furious 8, which was a big letdown for me. I just didn't care for that whole Iceland sequence. It was just too ridiculous for my taste. Mrs. Doubtfire by the great, late great Robin Williams. Black Butterfly, which I actually highly recommend. That was a pleasant surprise with uh, Antonio Banderas, Jonathan Rich Myers. It has a pretty cool twist towards the end. And uh, Chapter 2, John Wick. Can't wait for Chapter 3, man. Really great... Uh, it's going to be a really great trilogy. Two Meals for Sister Sarah by the legend himself, Clint Eastwood. And some interesting trivia about High Plains Drifter. Uh, John Wayne actually saw the film and he talked a lot of crap about it. And he wrote, uh, you know, Clint Eastwood, that's not how Western world should be like and this and that. And Clint's all like, screw you, it's my movie. I'm going to make it the way I want to make it. And they were actually in talks to uh, start a movie together, but... After that, they just decided to part ways. So I definitely don't blame Clint Eastwood for that. La La Land, one of the uh, great uh, musicals of all time. And uh, Jack and Jill from Adam Sandler, my guilty pleasure, man. Al Pacino really stole the show for me on that. Rogue One, Office Christmas Party, The Jerk. 
Frailty by the late great Bill Paxton, which he actually starred and directed. Get Hard, really fun movie. Will Ferrell, Kevin Hart. I uh, got the bundle pack of the Die Hard movies. I went a little too quick on that. Let me go back. And um, got Moonlight, Allied. Jack Reacher, Sherlock Holmes. A couple of the other Harry Potter movies. Batman vs. Superman and uh, World War Z, which they ended up refilming the entire second half, which I'm glad they did because it actually ended up being a pretty decent zombie movie. Step Brothers, one of my favorites. Tom Hanks and Sully, of course, the story of the Miracle on the Hudson. Got Heat again. This is the original release uh, from Dust Till Dawn, another great one. The Star Trek films, Central Intelligence, The Hobbit films. Pulp Fiction, the greatest film that uh, Quentin Tarantino has wrote and directed. Bad Boys Part 3 is coming soon. It's going to be called Bad Boys for Life. And speaking of uh, Mary Poppins, there it is right there. Hail Caesar. T3, Rise of the Machines, which was a big letdown. 30 Grandpa, another ridiculous film. Kindergarten Cop. I'm actually still waiting for Twins. Love Twins with Danny DeVito and Arnold. Remember, which was actually a pleasant surprise with Christopher Plummer, has a really interesting twist, you know, towards the end. The Revenant, epic film, man. The film, of course, that won Leo DiCaprio an Oscar finally. The Big Short, Daddy's Home. I actually like the second film, but uh, that's thanks to Mel Gibson. The rest of it is pretty forgettable, you know, standard humor. Spectre. Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation, and I really love the Mission Impossible films. To me, they're like the American 007 movies. Ted 2, Home Alone 1 and 2, the Ghostbusters movies, Birdman, 101 Dalmatians, Jurassic World, Part 2, of course, is coming soon on that, Aladdin, and uh, my favorite animated Disney film of all time, The Jungle Book, The Incredibles, Part 2 is also coming soon for The Incredibles, Kirk Douglas and the epic Spartacus and some more 007 movies. Casino Royale. From Russia with Love. Ex Machina, Goldeneye. Of course, Fury Road right there, Mad Max. T2, Judgment Day. Dumb and Dumber 2, which was a big letdown as well. And that's just unfortunate because it was like that whole, you know, 20 year gap between the first and second film. And what can you do? You know, it is what it is. But I'm really glad they still came back for the fans to make the sequel. So I got to appreciate them for that. Interstellar, John Wick, Lawless. I really like Lawless. The whole look and feel of the movie. Especially Sideways. Sideways is my favorite film of all time. From the story to the humanity of the characters. Really beautifully shot and the whole wine country area and perfect music that suits the mood and feel. Whiplash, American Pie movies, Chef, really pleasantly surprised by Chef. The uh, Batman movies, Double Indemnity, in my opinion, the greatest uh, film noir movie of all time. Fast and Furious 6, Tokyo Drift, which is very underrated, man. Really like that film, the whole drift sequences, really fun. Jurassic Park, Liar Liar, another great one by Jim Carrey. Not as great, of course, as uh, the other films, but uh, my personal favorite movie of Jim Carrey of all time is uh, Dumb and Dumber, and it's uh, The Mask and then Liar Liar. And, of course, Ace Ventura comes after that. The Saw films, Prometheus, Skyfall, and the rest of the films right there, Wolf of Wall Street and The Woman in Black. So uh, there you have it, guys. Just wanted to give you guys a rundown of my current digital library. And, of course, I'm going to have more films being added once I get uh, more stuff coming in. Till next time, thanks for taking a look, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.